Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you wanna learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term then i have a special program just for you link is in the description below also and i can help you out personally again one-on-one -on -one with any questions concerns or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general and also go pick up my brand new girls night card game it's officially out so if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh He's Toxic Period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way. And we going to jump right into this video. And this video is titled, Never Be Too Clingy to a Man. Right, ladies? So you should not, as a woman, be too clingy to a man. Now, you may ask me, Sid, what is clingy? Maybe you heard it before. Maybe you already know. But for those who don't know, being clingy is basically being all up under this man. This man can't breathe without you being right there. This man can't turn around without you being attached to his hip. It's like this man feels like you're doing too much, like you're smothering him, right? Like you always calling him, you always texting him, you always just want to talk to him, like it's just too, too much, you know? And a lot of times it could get overwhelming. A lot of times it's just like, dang, like, can you relax, you know? Like, can I have some time alone, you know? Can I have some time by myself for a second without you being right up under me? Like, dang, you know, can we have some time to just chill by ourselves, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of times you as a woman do not be too clingy. Don't be so desperate. Don't be chasing up, running up after this man. And this man can't even do nothing without you standing right there. You as a woman, you should never ever chase a man. And you should never feel like you're so attached to him that you don't even know who you are. Or you're so attached to him that this man is your everything and you're nothing without him, you know? Because that can become very toxic when this man is everything to you and you don't even know who you are by yourself. You know what I'm saying? So you do not want to get too, too, too attached. You don't want to be that girl. You don't want to be that pick me, pick me, pick me. I have to be in your face. Because, you know, I want you to notice me or I need your attention. Or a lot of women, you might feel like, hey, I got to make sure I keep my 
eye on this man. A lot of women, the reason why, you may ask me, see, what's the reason why women are clingy? Or you may ask yourself, why am I clingy with men? Like, why am I always chasing men, calling and texting and doing too much, right? So the reason why you might be trying to be too clingy and desperate and thirsty to a man is because you just don't want him to stray off and mess with other women. You don't want him to go too far without him in your eyesight. You feel like I need to keep my eye on this man. I need to have him on surveillance camera so I know for a fact he's not cheating on me or I know for a fact ain't no other women around him or he don't have no time to cheat on me or ain't no other woman gonna have time to even, you know, be around him or nothing because if I'm always around him, then I know that he faithful to me. If I'm always around him, I know he not out there cheating because I'm there, you know? So a lot of times, the only reason why a woman is clingy is just because she don't want nobody else to have access to her man. This woman might be afraid that another woman might take her man away or she might feel like, you know, that man, I can't trust him. You might have trust issues. A lot of times... A reason why a woman is so clingy because she got trust issues. She got abandonment issues, right? She needs somebody by her side. She don't want to be abandoned. She got attachment issues. And a lot of times that's toxic because you basically trying to hold this person against their will. So that's the reason why women are too clingy with a man, just out of insecurity. A lot of women are insecure within themselves. They compare themselves to other women. They feel like other women are better than me. Other women are prettier than me. Other women got a better body than me. Other women got a bigger booty than me, a bigger chest than me. It's other women that got more money than me. They got more going on. They're educated. They're smart. They're talented. You know, so you might be comparing yourself to other women and you insecure. So you latching on to this man to make sure that nobody else see your man and could ever and they might get your man attention. You don't want these other girls with the big old booties to be, you know, getting your man's attention. You say, hey, I need to have all the access and all the power and I need to keep my eye on him, right? And another reason why women get too clingy with men is just because, you know, they really, really care about the man. You might really, really like the man. You might really be feeling him. You might be in love. You might, or you might feel like you in love. You might feel like I really like this guy. He's the man for me. You know, I want to marry him, whatever. And you might get too attached. So when you get too attached, you end up chasing up after this man. You end up doing too much. You end up just looking weak and pathetic. Like you just look like you just trying so hard to impress him and win him over. And another reason why women get too clingy with the man is just because that man is meeting her needs. Some type of way, this man, you feel like he's feeding some of your needs. Maybe, like I said, it could be an insecurity. Maybe it could be good sex. Sometimes just the sex is so good that you get real clingy with the man, right? Let's talk about that. It might just be in the bedroom when y'all having sex, when y'all doing what y'all do. You know, when y'all doing grown folk business in the bedroom, it might be really good. The man might know what he doing in the bedroom. The man might knock your socks off. The man might, you know, make a bed rock. This man might, you know, just make you a very happy woman and he know how to please you and pleasure you in the bedroom properly, right? So he know what he doing, right? And you get so attached because you say the sex is so good. The man make me feel so good. He know all the right spots to touch. He know exactly what to do and when to do it, you know? And you just get so caught up in that and you get so attached to the sex because it's fulfilling, you know, an attachment or just a physical need, a physical release, right? Or an emotional attachment because you feel like, when you have sex with this man, 
is it's that love that you never got. Or you feel like when I have sex with this man, it's just so good. It's pleasing just your, your physical body. So you just attach to the sex. So some women, they just get clingy because of the good sex, right? And then another reason why women get too clingy is this man, he might be spending a whole bunch of money on her, right? So some women, they get attached to the lifestyle that a man provides for her. A lot of women, they get attached because a man, he's spending all his money on her. He taking her shopping. He doing whatever for her, paying her bills, getting her hair done, nails done, doing whatever for her, buying her stuff, flying her here, trips and dates. Nice restaurants. She got Louis Vuitton on, Gucci down. You know, she got everything. And a lot of times this woman, she don't want to give that lifestyle up. She clingy because she fell in love with the lifestyle this man provided. Maybe this man got a lot of money and he could provide a lifestyle that you never had by yourself or a lifestyle that you could even dream of because maybe you just ended up finding a guy that makes six figures or a millionaire or whatever and you and this man just spent all his money on you so you attach to the money a lot of times it might not even be the man per se maybe you like him or maybe you grew to like him because you've been spending so much time with him but maybe you wouldn't even have gave him the time of day if he wasn't spending no money on you but the fact that he is, you attach to the money. Maybe not him, but maybe the money. But maybe sometimes you are. You know, I'm not going to just say that you're not. Sometimes, you know, the woman is attached to the man for who he is. And, you know, the money is just a bonus. But it's still the money that might draw you in a little more because he's real generous and he's spending on you, right? So that's another reason why women get attached to a man, you know, because of his money, right? And they get too clingy. So you can't let all of that that I just said, the good sex, the man spending money on you, you got insecurities or whatever it is, do not get distracted. Don't let all that distract you from what's real. Don't let all that lure you in to lowering your guard all the way down. And that's when the man sees the opportunity to use you and manipulate you and do whatever he wants to you, right? So you got to keep your eyes open and do not get too clingy. And in this video, I'm going to explain why you should not get too clingy. So we talked about why women get clingy or why women are clingy with the men. But now we're going to talk about the top five. Yes, five reasons why a woman should not be clingy with a man and what happens when she is clingy and too and she's too desperate and too thirsty and she's chasing and running up after a man okay so we're gonna jump right into it we're going number one so number one the first reason why you should not be too clingy with the man number one is you want to give this man some space to miss you so a lot of you women, you too clingy. You all up under this man. You smothering him. You doing too much. You just breathing down this man's neck. You doing entirely too much, right? And a lot of times this man, he can't miss you if you all up in his face. This man, he can't think about you. If he see you all the time and talk to you all the time and text you all the time, talk to you on the phone all the time, you know, y'all hang out all the time, you around each other all the time, then how can I miss somebody that's always here? How can I think about somebody that's always right in my face? How can I miss and wonder and, you know, ponder on a woman if she's right here so it take the mystery it take the anticipation it take the chase and the hunt away if you too clingy you know but when you give this man some space to miss you and you got a life and he got a life when you give this man some time to actually miss you then guess what 
Now he think about you. Now he wants you. Now you on his mind. All this man can think about is you. So when you on a man's mind, he wondering, wow, I ain't talked to her in a second. I wonder what she doing. Hmm. What's going on with her? I haven't heard from her. Hmm. I'm starting to miss her. Hmm. I miss the times when we was, you know, all hugged up or I miss when we was going out, having fun, laughing and stuff. You know, we had such a great time together and I'm starting to miss her. I ain't heard from her. What's going on? So now that creates this man to say, okay, well, I got to reach out to her because I miss her. So, hey, how you doing? Hey, stranger, haven't heard from you. That's when he, that's when he writes you. That's when he, you know, inbox you. You know, that's when this man reaches out and talks to you because he miss you. So it make the man come to you. It lures the man to come to you when you give him some space to miss you. You ain't got to be all up under him every single day. You know, it's different if y'all live together, right? If y'all live together, then that might be different, you know? Because y'all already got time apart from one another sometimes. Because maybe you go to work, he go to work. Or maybe you at home and he at work. So y'all might have time apart from each other. But let's just say y'all don't live in the same place. Maybe you got your own spot. He got his own spot. Now, when it comes to that, you ain't got to see this man every single day and be going over his house or he go over your house or y'all got to hang out and go out somewhere every single day. You know, give this man some time to think about you. Give this man some time to reminisce on, you know, the time that y'all spend together. And he'll sit there and be like, wow, I had a great time with this woman. I miss her. I want some more of that. I really want to hang out with her again. So it makes him anticipate more to talk to you and be around you. But when you all around this man, he not excited to see you. Don't you want a man to be excited to see you? The reason why this man not excited to see you is because he see you every single day. So you got to break it up. You know, you got to give him some space to miss you. You know, maybe see this man like when y'all first start dating, like the first few weeks or first few months, you know, maybe keep it to like once a week, you know, once a week, maybe twice max that we hang out and see each other, you know, maybe twice a week is good, but we don't need to be seeing each other all this time. I got a life. I got a job. Maybe some of y'all ladies got kids. Maybe some of y'all ladies got whatever y'all got, friends and family. You, you should have a life. Anyways, you got other stuff to worry about. You might be in school. You got to study. You ain't got time to be laid up with a man all day long. You should have a life outside of him right? And that's going to make him miss you. And he should have a life outside of you. He should be able to have a life, you know, be working on himself, have individuality by himself. And you should too. So you got to make a man miss you. That's how you make a man miss you. You want to make a man miss you, you got to give him some space or don't be on the phone with him all day long. You know what you do? You cut it real short. Maybe like, you know, 20 minutes max, you know, 15, 20 minutes. You get on the phone with him. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you know, what's going on? How was your day? Blah, blah, blah. How are you? You know, all the small talk, you know, whatever. Then you got to be the one to say, hey, hey, I got to call you back, whatever. You know, hey, let me call you back real quick. So you as a woman, you have to be the one to get off the phone first. So you as a woman, you have to make sure that you are the first person to have to get off the phone. Never let the man tell you, oh, I'm going to call you back. Because that puts the power in his hands to say, hey, I'm going to call you back when I feel like it. I'm going to get around to you when I feel like it. So now you sitting by your phone waiting for him to call you back. And if he do or don't, you affected by it. And that's when you as a woman, you say, hey, you know, I'm going to call you back. Hey, can I give you a phone call back? Whatever. And that makes this man be like, oh, she a busy woman. She got to call me back. What came up 
that she had to get off the phone with me. She got other priorities other than talking to me. So that makes that man value you more. He will respect you and your time more because he value you because he don't get to talk to you whenever he feel like it. Or the conversation is really, really good, but it's cut short. It's kind of like, you know, like a cliffhanger. It's kind of like a cliffhanger, like a TV show. You know how you watch a TV show and it gets to the good part and then the credits come on and they say to be continued or, you know, you got to wait till next week for part two. And you like, what happened? What happened? Why y'all ain't reveal the ending of that? You know, it's a cliffhanger. So it's the same thing when it comes to this man. He like, hey, we was just getting to the good part. We were just having fun on the phone. And right when we was just having a good old time on the phone, laughing and joking and going back and forth, I say, hey, you know, hey, it was nice talking to you, but I got to go. I got to call you back. Now this man say, what? I had such a great time with this woman. She got to call me back. Now he miss you. Now he thinking about you. Now he can't wait. This man can't wait to talk to you again. But if this man to talk to you all day long on the phone, this man, that's the reason why this man call you whenever he feel like it. Because he said, hey, she always there. She always available. I got all her time. I'm a big priority in this woman's life. And I just met her. Or this woman ain't got no life without me. Even if we've been talking for years, you know, she ain't got no life without me. So you got to give a man space and it's healthy. It's healthy space. Everybody should have their own time to themselves. That's just healthy. You need time to yourself to gather your thoughts, to get your life together. Think about what you want out of life. You need time to, you know, focus on you, self-care, self-love. You need time to pamper yourself. You need time. You need to spend time with yourself as well, just like him. And he do too. So that's how it got to be. Give a man some space to miss you, think about you, wonder about you. And he'll come running back and he can't wait to see you again and take you out again. Right. So that's number one. So number two. The second reason why you should never, ever be too clingy with the man. Number two is you might be annoying him. So a lot of y'all women, you might think, oh, you know, I just want to show my affection. I'm real, real clingy with this man because I really, really care. I just really like being around him. I love the conversation. I'm really attached to him. I just can't get enough of him. He's so handsome. He's so smart. I really like him, whatever it is, right? You just going Google Gaga. You head over heels. You just tripping. This man got your mind gone, right? You just heart eyes, heart eyes with this man, right? And a lot of times when you too clingy, you don't even realize that you think you're trying to showcase your love and your affection and all that. But guess what? This man, he don't want it. He like, this woman is annoying me. This woman is like a bug. This woman is like, this woman is like an annoying bug that's buzzing around me like a fly or whatever that won't leave me alone. She just all up under me. She always calling me. You know, my phone always ring. I might be on the phone with somebody or I might be doing something. I might be at work. I might be at church. I might be in school. I might be anywhere. I might be doing anything. This woman calling me. She calling again. And then if I don't answer, she going to call me again. And if I don't answer that, she going to keep calling, keep calling. She calling me all day long until I answer. Like, dang, girl, you annoying me. You doing too much. You too desperate. You too thirsty. Like, you ain't got nothing else better to do than call me all day trying to see where I'm at and what I'm doing. Because you insecure, you want to call me all day long trying to figure out what I got going on and stuff. Like, dang, I might be in the gym working out. I might be doing something. I might be washing my hands. I might be in the shower. I might be sleep. I could be doing anything 
and you calling, 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 right? Or you keep texting me back to back to back to back. You texting me big paragraphs. You just won't leave me alone. Like, give me some space to miss you. Give me some time to think about you. You annoying me. You doing too much. You desperate. You pathetic. Look at you. Look at you. If I don't answer my phone, you're going to pop up over my house. If I don't answer my phone, you're going to pop up to my job. You pulling up. You trying to see what I got going on. Or you calling up all my homeboys trying to figure out if they seen me, if they talk to me, if they been around me, or if I'm with them. You trying to do too much. You calling my mama. You, you pop up at my mama house. Trying to see if she heard from me or trying to see what's going on and what I'm doing. Like, you doing too much. Like, chill. So, that make that man not even want to talk to you no more. Because he like, this woman is so annoying, she got to get away. So, now, that's when this man create distance. That's the reason why a lot of the men, they get distant from you or they don't want to talk to you no more or they ghost you or they ignore you or they just like, I don't want to talk to this woman no more. I'm going to cut her off. The reason why men walk away from you and ignore you is because you too clingy and you doing too much and it's a turn off. It's a turn off to a man and even a woman. Don't. A lot of you women, you don't like when a man is too, too, too clingy. Like, you might like some affection or you might like, you know, some attention. But, you know, a man all up under you all the time, 24-7, and you can't breathe and you he's smothering you and you can't do nothing without this man by your side. It's like, you know, sometimes that becomes unhealthy and it's a turn off. So you never, ever, ever want to be too desperate. And a lot of you women, it's other ways how you are desperate. You know, you giving this man compliments. Sometimes that push a man away when you give a man too many compliments. You telling this man, you so handsome, you so fine, you so tall, I like you so much, I love the way that you do this, or you so smart, or I like when we hang out. Or I like the way you dress. I like those shoes. I like your car. I like everything about you. I like, I like, I like. This this man like, dang, you sound like a groupie. You sound like a desperate, thirsty woman chasing me. You sound like you just trying to tell me what I want to hear to boost my ego. You sound like you just trying to butter me up. You sound like you just trying to make me feel good so I like you, you know? So a lot of men, they might be like, this woman trying too hard. They might take your compliments as this woman trying too hard to get me to like her because she trying to, because she trying to fill my head up, trying to call me handsome. She called me handsome every five minutes. So that just might push a man away. So that's why a lot of men push you away is because you too clingy and you ain't give him no space to miss you. So this man like, hey, the chase is over. The fun is over. I can't miss her. I can't want her. I can't think about her. I can't chase her if she's already right here. So I'm going to go with another woman. I'm going to go see what else out there. I'm going to leave her alone because I already conquered her. I already got her. She already all on me. I got her wrapped around my finger. So let me go see what else is out there, right? So that's the reason why he leave you and now he dating other women and he don't want to talk to you no more because I already got you, right? So that's number two. So number three. The third reason why you should never, ever be too clingy with the man, number three, is he will take advantage of you because of your interest level, right? So what I mean by that is this man going to take advantage of you. When a man knows your interest level, when a man knows how much you really, really like him, when a man knows he got you wrapped around his finger in the palm of his hands, this man feel like I got all the power and control over this woman. I can tell her to do anything and she going to do it. I can tell this woman, sit down, be quiet, and do whatever I say, and she's going to do it. 
So I got all the control over the situation, over the relationship, over the marriage. I got control over whatever we got. I got power because you clingy, you desperate, you want me. I'm the prize. I'm above you. You chasing me. You trying to prove to me how much you like me. So I'm going to let you prove yourself to me. I'm going to let you cook and clean for me. You need to cook for me all day long, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You need to clean my whole house for me, everything. And you better give me the booty. You better give me sex whenever I want it. Whenever I want the booty, you better give it to me. You better be here when I need you. You better do whatever I say because you clingy and you want me, right? So show me and make me happy. Since you so clingy and you willing to do anything for me and you volunteer to basically run up after me, then I'm going to let you run up after me. I'm going to let you prove yourself. So a lot of men take advantage of you. They take advantage of the fact that you so attached to them, you ain't never going to leave. I know I can treat you any type of way. I can lie to you. I can cheat on you. I can put my hands on you. I can cuss you out. I can dog you out. I can do whatever to you. You going to be right here. So I'm going to keep cheating. I'm going to keep lying. I'm going to keep doing everything and dogging you out because guess what? You ain't going to go nowhere. You ain't going to do nothing. You ain't never going to walk away from me. You ain't never going to stand up for yourself because you afraid of losing me. You so clingy and so desperate and needy, you more afraid of losing me than then how you feel about me disrespecting you. You don't care about how I disrespect you as long as you get to keep a piece of me, right? And I can cheat on you. I can have sex with whoever. I can do whatever. And then I get all your benefits, your cooking, cleaning, your sex, whatever. So I win, you lose, you know? So a lot of men, they take advantage. They use you. They manipulate you. They want you to chase. They want you to run up after them and give them all the benefits. And they don't have to lift a finger. They don't have to try hard. They don't have to call you. I'm not calling you. I'm not texting you. I'm not taking you out. I'm not spending no money on you. I'm not doing nothing. You come to me. You spend your money on me. You call me. You text me. You come see me. You do everything on your end to impress me because I'm the prize, right? So a lot of men, they take advantage of you and they dog you out and use you. So that's why you don't want to be too clingy because he know your interest level and he know, oh, this woman really, really like me so I could really, really use her and really, really manipulate her and really, really dog her out, right? So that's number three. So number four, the fourth reason why you should never, ever, ever be too clingy with a man and too desperate and thirsty, number four is it forces him to chase you. So now... He is forced to chase up after you. When you give a man some space to miss you and you're not too clingy, you're not all up under him, you're not always calling and texting him, you give him some space, then guess what? Now he chasing you. Now he wondering what this woman doing? Where this woman at? What this woman got going on? Why I'm not a priority? I miss her. I want her. I gotta have her. Let me call her and check in on her. Let me text her and check in on her. Let me do something to get her attention. I need this woman's attention. Clearly, I ain't got her attention enough for her to drop everything and do whatever I say or be all up under me. She got a life of her own. So how do I bring her into my world? So he's going to be chasing you, trying to bribe you and trying to impress you and prove to you, hey, look at my world. My world is very good, very great. You'll get treated right. Come over here. Come over here. I'll spend a whole bunch of money on you. I'll pay all your bills. I'll take you shopping. I'll get your hair done, nails done. I'll treat you right. I'll love you right. I'll do anything you need me to do just to get your attention. Since you not chasing me, since you not thirsty and you not desperate, you know, now this man wants you even more. A lot of times a man wants you when he can't have you. 
How can I want something that I already got? If I already got you, I don't want you no more. But if I can't have you, that's why I chase even harder. People want what they can't have. If a man already got you, he can't already want you, right? So you got to make a man hunt you. Men are hunters, right? So when you sit back, relax, kick your feet up, and you just sit there, be pretty, and just be the good woman that you are, guess what? The men, they going to see you. They, they naturally going to gravitate and do whatever for you. And you don't have to chase them or you don't have to prove to them that you're a great woman. You don't have to cook and clean and give a man your body so easily. You don't have to do all that to try to impress a man. Let the man come to you and prove himself to you. And now you can figure out what you want to do with him right? So you got to force the man to chase you. Think about you. Make his mom wonder. Is she talking to other guys? She not talking to me. I ain't heard from her all day today. She ain't texting me back. She ain't called me back. She said that she was going to call me back, but she ain't called me back. Or we had such a great time on the phone. She had to get off the phone. I miss her. Or I hung out with her this week. I'm not going to see her again till next week. I miss her. I want to see her. I got to have her. So that's the reason why this man chasing you now. So make the man come to you. Instead of you being too clingy on him, you want the man to be chasing you, being clingy on you instead of you being clingy on him. You want the man wrapped around your finger where you got the power and not him where you wrapped around his finger and he got all the power, right? So that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and final reason why you as a woman, you should never, ever be too clingy with the man. Number five is you become too dependent on him. So when this man is your everything, your whole world, and you don't got nothing else going on in your life but him, then you become dependent on him for everything. You don't have no identity without this man. If this man ever leave your life, you're going to be broken because you don't even know who you are without this man. You have no individuality without this man. You know, and anything this man do, you're affected by it. And if this man leave you or he dump you or he dog you out, you ain't got nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, no nobody else to talk to. Nothing else to do with your time but think about him and stress over him because you don't have no life. So you got to get you a life. When you have a life outside of a man, you're not tripping over if he takes you back or not. You're not tripping over if he want to call you or if he want to go see you or if he want to take you out. And you're not tripping. You say, if this man like me, then he like me. If he don't, he don't. But I'm not finna chase nobody. You know, what's for me is for me. If the man want me, he'll come. If he don't, I got a life outside of him. I got friends. I got family. Maybe you got a pet. You might got a dog, a cat, whatever. Or maybe, you know, you got church. You got Bible study. Maybe you in school. You know, you trying to get your grades together. You trying to graduate. Maybe you got a job. You working real hard trying to climb the corporate ladder. Or maybe you got a business, you trying to work in your business, trying to scale up in your business, whatever. You got a life, you got kids, you got all that going on. So you got to have a life outside of him so you not so desperate and needy and chasing him and stressing out over no man. When you got a life outside of a man, you not stressing out over no man. Ain't no man controlling your whole life. Ain't no man got your mind just going crazy. You stressing out. You can't eat, can't sleep be over a man. And if this man ever leave your life, then you just destroy. Guess what? If you got a life outside of a man and he ever leave you or ever cheat on you or ever dog you out, it's going to be easier to cut him off. It's going to be easier to let him go. You say, hey, I got my own life. I got other stuff going on outside of you, brother. So goodbye. You know, you won't be missed. I'm not tripping. But if you ain't got no life 
outside of this man when he leave you. Now you just sitting in your bed, curled up, crying, crying, crying. You on the phone with your homegirl or your homegirl come over your house and, you know, you sip your wine and you cry and you tell her how bad this man hurt you and you miss him and you don't know what to do. Or you just sit by yourself and you curl up in the ball and you just cry, can't eat, can't sleep. You know, you just going crazy over this man just because you ain't got no life. So do not be too dependent on this man. And you got to be to an extent. You have to be. I feel like everybody, man or woman, you should be independent. You should be able to stand on your own two feet or have some individuality or have a life by yourself and for yourself. It's your life. You know, now when y'all come together, y'all can be codependent, whatever, but you should still have a form of independency even when you're in a relationship, even when you're in a marriage. Do not forget about yourself. Do not forget about you. Do not forget about loving yourself and pouring into yourself. Because when you steady pouring into a man, you pouring into a man, pouring into him, now you empty. He full, he on full, and you empty. You have nothing else to give. You feel so depleted. You feel so exhausted. That's the reason why a lot of you women are just stressed out and you just real tired all the time because you gave up all your energy to a man and it was not reciprocated. So let the man come to you, okay? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five reasons why you should never, ever, ever be too clingy with the man. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me and I'm out of here. So to the next video.